Um, so I'm going to talk today um, about two services that are managed by the State Library. Um, the first one is the Fine Legal Answers Service in Public Libraries, and the second one is Drug Info. So that was, the, that was my first slide. Um, I just wanted to have, in the beginning, just a real plug for public libraries in New South Wales. Um, New South Wales has a population of around 7.5 million people. There are 101 library services with a total of 367 locations across New South Wales. And in a state as big as New South Wales, that really provides an incredible reach for information. It's a stable network, accessible to everybody. Um, as everyone said time and time again today, providing free access to the internet and Wi-Fi with public library staff who are trusted providers of information. And I think that's really, when I've been listening to everyone speaking today, I've been sort of nodding to myself thinking, yes, it's, you know, it's about empowerment, it's about trusted and reliable information providers and trustworthy information. And so that's what we um, aim to do with our service. Um, and the vision really for the Legal Information Access Centre and through that, through our Fine Legal Answers service, which we've always said is about empowering individuals and communities to understand their legal rights and therefore make more informed decisions. So uh, LEAC has been in existence for around 25 years and um, quite abruptly, uh, just before the end of the financial year last year, we lost all our funding. We were an externally um, funded um, in partnership with the State Library. So um, after that shock, we, with the um, commitment of the State Library to continue on with the service, we refocused um, and we continued with our service in public libraries. So it's a legal information service that focuses around plain language information. It's a collection of books in every public library that we call the toolkit collection. Um, and it's also a website that we uh, manage in the State Library and it underpins the service and it really reflects our five-step pathway methodology where information is organised from simple to complex. So starting from the very basic, um, which is a lot of government information, what used to be pamphlets, which is now predominantly online, um, and then moving towards our plain language collections where they describe the law, um, in plain language with maybe sample forms and provide more information and then continues on to legal resources that lawyers would use. Um, part of the service is that we also deliver training to public libraries and this is really crucial and critical to the service. It's um, something that we've been able to continue to do and we do um, try to focus on doing regional training as well to build confidence and skills in public library staff to actually deliver legal information. And it, we talk a lot in the beginning about, it's all about legal information, not advice. And then that gives them the confidence to be able to provide someone with information when they come in and they say, oh, they're having a um, problem with their neighbour or, yes, yeah, so there's the, there's the great map of public libraries all across New South Wales. And here's our, Here's our service. So there's the, le there's the legal toolkit. So it's really clearly branded um, for being in every public library. And then on the left is our, is our website. And the boxes in the, at the front are where you can search using the sort of simple to complex framework. So as well as the training, we also provide promotional material and support campaigns for public libraries to promote the service in their local communities. So, I mean, all public libraries, they love a week. So we um, support them with Law Week and also with um, giving ideas about Seniors Week or other sort of weeks where legal information comes. I mean, the law really affects all areas of people's lives. And I think um, in the um, when we start the training, talking to public libraries, they sort of, they, we have a spiel about that and then you go, oh yes, that's right, you know, renting, my neighbours, etc., writing a will, all those things that are all really popular or heavily used areas of our website. 
Um, we also have partnership with um, New South Wales government as well. We've started a partnership and a project that's been going for quite a few years now with courts and tribunal services to deliver these similar legal information workshops that we deliver to public library staff, to local court staff across New South Wales. And that's to promote um, legal information and um, in public libraries and on our website to local court staff who wouldn't traditionally think of sending a client who wants more information, who comes to the court and asks a question, to their local library to find information. So in many small communities in um, New South Wales, the local court is the one-stop shop for every single question you might have that relates to the law or your everyday life. And so being able to provide the courts with um, they do the hands-on, they use the books to answer questions, they look at our website, it really um, makes them feel very confident to then refer people to the library. At the same time, sometimes together, if, you know, if we can sort it out, um, we will also train the public library staff. So it's a, they're both committed to the service and it really strengthens the relationship between the library and the local court. Um, and, off, and recently we've also included other community and legal service providers as well. So to also try and demonstrate to them that they can, if they have a client that comes for legal aid who might have another issue, then the library is another place to go and also that they're safe accepting places. Um, and another partnership we have with New South Wales Government is with Corrective Services, and that's to support and provide the Fine Legal Answers service in 36 correctional centres in New South Wales. And then together with Legal Aid, Law Access and other legal service providers in government, we also provide all our content of our website um, to, for the Prisoners Legal Information Portal, which has been a really successful initiative of sort of cross um, government partnership with trying to provide legal information on um, the to prisoners via their portal. So our other service, which is a similar model to the LEAC statewide model, is Drug Info. It's funded in a joint partnership with New South Wales Health and the State Library. And it provides up-to-date information about alcohol and recreational drugs. There's also a dedicated website with a combination of full text information, quality assured links, fact sheets and access to support networks. And there's a small collection of selected books and pamphlets in public libraries. As part of this program, we're focused on two innovative ways of, I suppose, delivering a health message. Um, and they are not necessarily, they're a little bit offline. Um, one, if you can see in the drug info, is the standard drinks program, which is developed, which we have developed to promote awareness and improve knowledge of standard drinks and the Australian alcohol guidelines in the community. So um, research had shown that there's a tendency for people to oversize their drinks and underestimate the alcohol content of beverages. Um, we also, so we use the standard drinks, it's a resin kit that says what a standard drink is and we have, um, my colleague has developed a whole lot of activities to demonstrate what a standard drink is for a different alcoholic beverage. We've also got our beer goggles, um, which you can't quite see there, um, to demonstrate the effects of alcohol. And then the website pulls all this together to provide access and links out to New South Wales Health or other um, places that they provide information about drug and alcohol issues and it's in a non-confronting environment and we've had a lot of um, great feedback when we go and deliver that in public libraries because this sort of drug and alcohol information it's quite stigmatised information people probably won't just walk into a library and ask about it so it's a way of having these things on display that might then just slowly sort of start a conversation around it. Um, when I was talking with my colleagues about doing the talk today, um, one of my colleagues said, yes, well, sort of government information, they're very good at broadcasting. Um, and I suppose both our services amplify that message, but we add a lot of value to it. With um, our Fine Legal Answers service, we actually publish information when we see there's a need for it. We approach authors and work together to provide more information on a topic. Um, and through um, our online and our social media, our, both our websites together had over around a million sessions last year. Um, and the public library network obviously is the, the most sort of valuable stream or distribution point for government information. And we work, 
carry that on by building the skills and capabilities of public librarians to be able to deliver that. So sort of to wrap up and to touch on what the issues were to be talking about, what are the critical success factors? Um, I think partnerships, they're um, absolutely critical. Obviously our partnership with public libraries, that has been very on long standing and a very trusted relationship. Our partnership with New South Wales government agencies, so a range of them through the courts and tribunal service and with corrective services to come together to talk about information and to weigh sort of the best ways to meet community needs and also carry on that conversation and partner with legal and community service providers. Um, we've tried to have well, what we've found that's been successful in um, our partnership with public libraries, definitely in relation to the LEAC service, Fine Legal Answers, is an agreement where it's clearly defined what both parties will do. And that's been what we'll provide to libraries and then what libraries will in turn provide to us. Um, that's been very beneficial. And also we have MOUs with um, New South Wales courts and tribunals. Um, I heard um, before we were talking about um, the sort of uh, cost, cost shifting. Public libraries are very sensitive to that. Um, and part of their sort of sustainability is to ensure that public libraries are, um, have a way of assessing um, um, projects that come to them from government. So the state libraries develop the famous principles and they're to um, help um, either we for us to, when we're delivering a statewide service, or for public libraries to look at, to look to when they're providing collections, resources, or services from government to see whether that's the best fit. Because often um, putting things in libraries, it might take space, it costs extra money, etc. And communication, um, I suppose it, that all, they all flow from partnerships. It's really critical for us to continually communicate with public libraries, with legal services providers, with New South Wales Health, so we can provide the best information um, to the community and to public libraries. Um, and now hands-on training that, that is really important builds the skills, but it also provides a feedback loop to our partners. So we've done training before in libraries where, um, again, today they've spoken about literacy, the um, problems with legal information, even in plain language or pamphlet form, is really um, very difficult for a lot of members of the community to understand. And also it's not available, or limited availability in other languages. So we've been able to feed that back through our networks and through our partnerships. So we were started to work with Legal Aid on producing an easy English pamphlet about family law. And not only we could provide the um, feedback from the libraries, but we could say to Legal Aid, if you'd like to show it to some people to get some feedback who are work in the community that aren't just legal service providers, um, then you know we can offer the great input of public libraries, which they would, that was really well received. And uh, lastly, of course, um, evaluation. And that really is an important factor for any sort of funding model or um, it was mentioned earlier. I think working with a lot of government departments, they're moving towards an evidence-based evaluation and to measure the impact beyond things such as output that's readily measurable. We know we evaluate our training all the time and we change it and we try and improve it um, as, you know, as according to the feedback. And, but trying to measure what the actual impact is on the community by providing that sort of information is much more of a challenge. We do know that we improve the knowledge and skills of public libraries staff and in turn they then will do that to the communities they serve. But um, it's just, I suppose it's just a note to say that you know, it's something that we're, I'm sure you're all work working on. And then finally, just some quotes, I think it might be a bit hard to see, from um, our public libraries and lo local court staff. And you'll see, again, empowering that people find that access to information is empowering. So, yes, thank you.